Hello everyone, and we're back for the invasion, apparently, which is a giant mechanoloid is approaching our base. If you don't do something, it will destroy our base in no time. And you know what? You know who's gonna go and destroy the mechanoloid? Obviously, the other soldiers in this revolution or rebellion. No, it's not. It's gonna be us! And let's just save here real quick, so in case I lose all my lives, I will be able to start restart over again off camera. Now the giant mechanical colloid, I believe, yeah, I am level B. I'm not playing really well, I don't really care about my level, but this guy has three parts to him, which he actually, you have to destroy each and every single individual part to destroy him at all, because you can't just destroy him, actually. You have to destroy the parts, which are like this. Each part has its own attack. And, however, if you have an A or S rank, I believe, there is a fourth part, which you will not see here, because I am just really bad at playing this game. So I am not an A or S rank. Hopefully I can destroy one of these sections soon. Thank you. Now once we got now that we've gotten rid of those little top things. The only way to uh, actually kill this top one without using... You can actually kill it using charged sword shots, but it's very slow. And it's probably just faster to use the Mega Buster, which I should be doing. But, you know, what you gonna do? I'm messing up right now. But it's fine. You can mess up in this level a lot. You have plenty of time, as you can see. Now, if I was a rank or higher, the driver himself would pop out and start shooting, but since I'm not, he doesn't. And that is the invasion, quote-unquote. Our base is safe thanks to you. We really appreciate your effort. No problem. I mean, it would be wonderful if any of you could help. Ah, level B again, speedster. So, what should we do next? If you didn't stop John McAlloy, base would have become a sitting duck. Thank you, Zero. No problem, Seal. Before we do anything else, we'll just save our data real quick. And we will go do another mission, which will be to... Find the hidden base. The reason we're doing this one is because... Once the... By defeating the boss that is at the hidden base, you get the final element chip. So, with all the element chips done, you do not actually have to care that much the order of the levels you fight them in, fight in action. I, I am messing up English really bad right now. But as I'm trying to say, once you have all the element chips, you don't have to really, it doesn't really matter that much anymore how, what level you fight or complete the levels in, because everyone will be weak to you. And it's just simple down here, bottomless pit, you can slide down, I believe there is a secret on the left. Over here, yes there is, a free cyber elf. Let me just pick it up. And oh look, we can't get in, but because of that we have seal. That is not a trap. How is that a trap? Traps you're not supposed to see. And you gotta be careful here because there are a lot of insta-kill spikes. So it's just a simple wall jumping section right now, which is not too hard. Got the right reflexes. But you thought that was the end of insta-kill spike? Oh, you were so wrong. We've got more insta-kill spikes down there. Here, this is just training. Because here are the insta-kill spikes. But if you're... If you really just keep your Mega Buster charged, you should be fine. And we're gonna have some turtles. Turtles are no problem at all. Mechanical turtles. They remind me of the mechanical turtles from, uh, what are they called? Zoids, I would say. You can now charge even faster. Now, for this level, we're supposed to go up this ladder, but if you go all the way to the very end by dashing across all the ice and maybe doing a few hippity hops, 
you get a whole bunch of goodies, an extra life, some health, and some energy crystals. Main reason I like that is because of free energy crit or the free life. And remember, enemies spawn when you come back, so you gotta be careful not to take... Well, I just took damage from the other guy. You just gotta be careful not to take too much damage from the turtles as you're running back, because people might be like, oh, i am killed the turtles before, they probably can't kill me again. So Seal is just saying, we unlocked the door and now that we have to do the main part of this mission, which is to save all the prisoners which are locked up in cells like this, which we can just destroy with our Z Saber. Or the triple rod if you want, if you're using the triple rod for some reason instead of the saber. Now, there's actually a, another element I hate about this level, which is... Well, I guess they're not gonna show up here. Uh, are they gonna be here? Not on this floor. But this is kind of Metal Gear Solid, like, in that there are patrols. As you can see, right now there's no one really around. But on the other levels, there are patrols, and there is a secret over here too. Which is really just health, but... Seal can't open this. However, later when you come back here, she'll open it for you, and there's the guard. Who... If you don't want to set him off, just... Shoot him with your Z Buster, I guess. And continue just rescuing everyone around, so to not set off the guards, just shoot down the hallways like this, and you'll be fine. And you're not one of mine. And because these guys are dicks, they put in a whole bunch of. I don't know, I guess they imprisoned their own people to act as decoys in case someone tried to rescue them? But you can look through the grating and see it's not one of your own friendlies. Now what happens if you actually do get spotted to demonstrate is a whole bunch of stuff happens, a whole bunch of alarms go off and then you can't open the cell anymore but it only happens for a few seconds and then it goes back to normal because they're like, oh you, must, you can't find him anymore, he must be gone. They also call in back up to other enemies, big tank like or not tank, the big charger guy. Who is kind of a nuisance. Oh, I should not have opened that, should I? Uh... Oh, I got noticed. Oh well. Give me your energy crystals. Dash all the way to the end. And wait for this to open. And slash. Destroy the panels. One more person to go? No problem. Now the boss for this guy the boss for this level is weak to fire. I yes, they found me, Seal. I don't care, they found me. Hurry up. What's this person thinking? Seeing this is your saver. I mean I'm just jumping around, spinning around with my sword. But now that we've rescued everyone, we just gotta go to the exit. And find the boss who is weak against fire, so make sure you have your flame chip uh, equipped for your items or for your element. And Zero, please help us. Yeah, sure. You guys couldn't find some weapons or something to give me cover and fire or anything. No. I gotta do everything on my own over here, I guess. And obviously, this is an ice guy. Ice is weak against fire, no matter what, apparently. And his name is Blizzrak, which he has a stupid name. Don't worry, if we can just hit him with fire, we'll be fine. Come on, buddy. Jump at him. You have to be careful when he does jump, because he does create that little puff of smoke, I would call it. And that puff of smoke can freeze you if you're too close to it. However, he's actually a fairly easy boss. You just gotta be careful. Also, don't get hit by those snowflakes. They are not just for show. They will attach to you and will slow you down. And he is really just being a dick right now. I might have to just... He's really... I might actually die on you. 
Come on, buddy. But yeah, as I was saying, he's not a meat. The bosses in this game, they're hard, but if you're using the right element, they're not that hard. And we get the ice chip, which is obviously going to give our attacks ice attack, ice element. Don't forget to bring the ice chip. No shit. Thank you. And we are class B warriors. Wonderful. Zero, thanks to you, as many as seven reploids have been saved. We cannot thank you enough. Our experiment is going fine so far. Once we succeed in developing a substitute energy, we plan to find a place to live happy life. So my other item, Neil Arcadia, who is the main antagonist of this game. And they want to know what's going to happen when I beat the game, if I'm going to go with them. Which we'll, you'll find out in the other Mega, Zero, Mega Man Zero games. So, that was a good two levels, I believe. We got... What? Yeah, we beat the mechan giant mechanoid and we rescued the people from the hidden base. Retrieved the ice chip and beat the ice boss, so that was a good level. So, until I see you guys next time in the next episode... Goodbye.